Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. This is just basically a video about maybe putting up a border around my entire room, especially when I get a new house, hopefully around Christmas time, I will have a brand new Nintendo room. And I'm thinking it would be really cool in general to have a border around the entire room at the top to display either game franchises or other cool little neat collectibles. I always thought maybe it would look a little daunting and I don't want things to perhaps maybe fall on people, or at least it looks like they might fall on people. But I did put up this one shelf right here that you were seeing, kind of over the entrance into my main room. And right now I'm displaying my handheld consoles. Essentially though, if you've been following my channel, you might have known or realized that I just got a Super Famicom. And its natural home would probably be with my other Super Nintendos, the original, the Mini, and now the Super Famicom. But I used to display all of my handheld consoles here in the box, and I'm just frankly running out of room for them if I want to display them in this fashion, just like all of my other consoles that I kind of do face out. So here is my original Nintendo Entertainment System. I would love to get a Famicom, and its home would probably go here. And there again is some of my handheld boxes I'm not sure what to do with yet. So I'm actually probably going to use up this space eventually, and I really need to make more space for handhelds, I think, in my room, especially going forward if I can think about it. So the natural idea I had was to put my handheld consoles maybe up here, and you can basically pardon the shoddy ceiling work, I guess. There's a little bit of weird ceiling work in here, but we got to move out of here eventually anyways. But on this side, I did display all of my handheld consoles with the box, most of them, not all of them. So I do have a Game & Watch Ball, an original Game Boy, a Game Boy Color, a Game Boy DS or a DSi, and a 3DS XL that is the Le Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds Gold Edition that looks pretty cool. And you might notice that I'm missing the variation of like the Game Boy SP, but I would love for you to comment below what other variations of home, wait no this is handhelds, what other variations of handheld consoles am I missing? Say for example the big one, the Virtual Boy. I am missing the Virtual Boy, so please, maybe you know more about it than me, leave a comment below. What are all the console variations, such as the Game Boy Advance, not the SP, just the original, or perhaps the Virtual Boy, and maybe they wouldn't all fit up here, so maybe I have to rethink this, but we will see. Just to show off what I also have really put up here, I've been playing a lot of Mario Kart, so I decided to display the eight Mario Kart games up here. They fit really well. Shout out to Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. It is absolutely fantastic. I've been playing that a lot. And then over here, I decided, I basically tried to start to display my Pokemon collection of games, and there's a pipe right there that I can't do anything about in this room anyways. There's only nine Pokemon games that I have in the box, and my wife, we've really got to get on collecting those because she's a huge Pokemon fan. I think there's like 24 boxes to get or something like that. We've got to get on that. On this side right now, I just have my Metroid small collection. I am clearly missing a lot of Metroid games, and I'm missing some of them from the handhelds. I'm missing the original Metroid in the box, but I did think I wanted to display something up there. I actually also pulled out my Donkey Kong collection to display up there. I'm just kind of wondering what I should put and kind of make it look really good. I could also probably put figurines up there. In the future going forward, I really did think though, hey, I have a Zelda wall, that looks pretty awesome. I also have a Mario wall, which looks pretty awesome. However, my Zelda and Mario collection of games is actually over here, so it would look a lot better probably, and I've seen other collectors do this, if I actually moved all of the games for those franchises on their respective walls, and maybe put them face out above the entire shelf, or something like that, above the entire wall rather, and made it look really cool, and face out really all I mean is to make it look like that Ocarina of Time. Face out, see all the box artwork, and really just make it look a lot better than spines of games in a collection, kind of bring out more personality in my collection would be kind of really cool. Essentially, what are your thoughts on this, of having a border go around the entire room? Do you think it's too much? Do you think it's daunting and maybe items would fall or if it just looks too scary or too overwhelming? Or perhaps, do you have any suggestions of how I should display these to make them look even better? I can only warn you though that GameCube cases and Wii U cases and Wii cases actually don't fit up here. There's not enough height like there is actually right there for them to fit. So that's my one limiting factor. Please comment below what's another series maybe I should put up, like the Donkey Kong games that I didn't actually put up, and if you like this kind of a display going around our room. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember as always, go collect them all, and just keep smiling while gaming.